Well, I tell you what, you couldn't make this one up. Prince Harry has today helped release a wide-ranging report on how to fight fake news as part of his role as a commissioner on disinformation. That doesn't sound Orwellian. For the left-wing Aspen Institute in Washington, D.C. On the Archerwell website, which is the pair, the Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's website, the, the group outline a list of 15 specific recommendations for leaders to consider adopting across the public, private and non-profit sectors. I think it's pretty bloody extraordinary by the prince, given the number of porkies propagated by Princess Pinocchio and him recently. I mean, there were a load of heavily disputed, if not outright lies told in their Oprah interview, never mind a debunking of that interview view. It was basically hollowed out of any substance. An example would be that she didn't marry Prince Harry in a private ceremony, dragging the Archbishop of Canterbury out into the public to defend himself against allegations that would have been illegal folks, were they to be true, which they weren't. She didn't out the so-called racist within the royal family either. How convenient was that? She even said she had no idea who Prince Harry was when they first met. I mean, yeah, right, a Tinseltown actress completely unaware of Prince Harry, son of the heir to the throne of the most famous royal family in the world. And most recently, of course, we find out that despite saying the pair had nothing to do with the Find and Freedom book, it was heard in court that their former communications secretary, Jason Nauf, actually provided information to the authors of that book, saying that the book was discussed on a routine basis, and this was in a court of law, including, and this is the damning part, directly with the Duchess multiple times in person and over email. So forgive me, folks. Forgive me. If I think twice before I listen to Prince Harry speak about fake news, when this pair are two of the biggest proponents of said fake news. The sooner, for me, this pair are relegated to reality telly with the rest of the Z-listers with the, living their fake lives and fake everything else, the better. <laughs>